So check it out. After seeing the RICO Act pop up so much these past few years and seeing it being used against so many different artists in the rap game, I started to take a deep dive and look into it. And I was really tripping out that I seen so many organizations that I never thought I would see have this used against them. But check it out and let me know if I'm tripping or not. Let's go. Number one, the Cowboy Mafia. Second, the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club. Third, the Latin Kings. Four, Gil Dozier. Five, the Key West Police Department. Ain't that some shit? Number six, Michael Milken. Number seven, Major League Baseball. What the fuck? I never knew that shit. Did you? Number eight, the Los Angeles Police Department. Another police department on this list had the RICO Act used against them. Ain't that some shit? Number nine, Mohawk Industries. Number 10, the Gambino Crime Family. 11, the Lucchese Crime Family. 12, the Banano Crime Family. 13, the Chicago Outfit. 14, Michael Conahan and Mark Chiavarella. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. 15, Scott W. Rothstein. 16, Axis Health Source. When I read that, I was like, what the fuck? 17, FIFA? What the fuck? Isn't that like the soccer league shit? Number 18, Drummond Company. 19, Connecticut Senator Lynn Fasano. 20, Lecter V. Aprio. And last but not least, YSL Records. So out of this whole list, I'ma just read the ones that I thought were crazy to me that I never expected to see on this list. So the first one, the Key West Police Department. When I seen that, I really didn't expect to see that the police department was once hit with the RICO Act. So it says, around June 1984, the Key West Police Department located in Monroe County, Florida, was declared a criminal enterprise under the federal RICO statutes after a lengthy United States Department of Justice investigation. Several high-ranking officers of the police department, including Deputy Police Chief Raymond Casamayor, were arrested on federal charges of running a protection racket for illegal cocaine smugglers. At trial, a witness testified he routinely delivered bags of cocaine to the deputy chief's office at City Hall. Ain't that some shit? Second on this list that surprised me is the Major League Baseball. This shit's a trip. In 2001, Major League Baseball team owners voted to eliminate two teams, presumably the Minnesota Twins and the Montreal Expos. In 2002, the former minority owners of the Expos filed charges under the RICO Act against MLB Commissioner Bud Salig and former Expos owner Jeffrey Loria, claiming that Salig and Loria deliberately conspired to devalue the team for personal benefit in preparation for a move. If found liable, Major League Baseball could have been responsible for up to $300 million in punitive damages. The case lasted two years, successfully stalling the Expos, moved to Washington or contraction during that time. It was eventually set to arbitration, where the arbiters ruled in favor of Major League Baseball, permitting the move to Washington to take place. That's some crazy shit. I don't remember ever seeing that in the news. The third one that surprised me is the Los Angeles Police Department. Check this shit out. In April 2000, federal judge William J. Rhea in Los Angeles ruling in one Rampart scandal case said that the plaintiffs could pursue RICO claims against the LAPD, an unprecedented finding. In July 2001, U.S. District Judge Gary A. Fees said that the plaintiffs did not have standing to sue the LAPD under RICO because they were alleging personal injuries rather than economic or property damages. Now the last one, the main one that really caught me off guard when I was reading this, I could not believe that the RICO Act was once used against this organization, a very popular organization. When I read this shit, it really caught me off guard and I was like, what the fuck? I can't believe this shit. But here it goes, drum roll. FIFA. When I seen that shit, I was really like, what the fuck? I could not believe that shit. That was something I never expected to see. But let's check it out. 14 defendants affiliated with FIFA were indicted under the RICO Act on 47 counts for racketeering, wire fraud, and money laundering conspiracies, among other offenses, in connection with the defendants participation in a 24-year scheme to enrich themselves through the corruption of international soccer. The defendants include many current and former high-ranking officers of FIFA and its affiliate CONCACAF. 
I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. The defendants had allegedly used the enterprise as a front to collect millions of dollars in bribes, which may have influenced Russia and Qatar's winning bids to host the FIFA World Cup in 2018 and 22, respectively. What the fuck? That shit just happened? Damn, that's some crazy shit. I did not see that on the news. I did not know shit about that. So those were the main ones right there when I was going through this whole RICO act and trying to learn about it, you know, because I remember when he seen it being used against the Italian mafia. So when I started seeing it pop up and being used against artists in the rap game, I was really tripping because I was like, damn, I didn't know that they would go that far with it. And it's crazy how they started using it against certain artists, mainly YSL right now. It really is a trip to stumble across shit like this, but I thought I would share it with y'all. Let's get money. Peace.